Before stepping off into history, make sure we're guiding left. Some last minute kinks. Keep it to the right. Don't swing out. And high emotions. Personally, I kind of hope I can hold it together. The members of the Lesbian and Gay Band Association are feeling it all with excitement, nerves, and a sense of responsibility. They're the first gay band ever to perform at an inaugural parade, and they know that all queer eyes will be on them. It's a lot of weight on our backs, and it's a lot of things to think about as we're walking down the street. Julie Toner from Atlanta never expected to be here, partly because she picked up her first trumpet barely a year ago, but also because she never thought she'd ever see an openly gay band marching down Pennsylvania Avenue. It brings tears to my eyes to be here and say I'm proud, I'm part of all of this, I'm, I'm just as American as, as anybody else here. 26-year-old Nathan Nickens says President Obama's invitation to a gay band was a brassy move. Changes here, like a minute after Obama takes the oath of office, and changes, changes in his parade and his cabin, and it's really exciting to be here. So after hours of marching and playing in the cold, everyone's now indoors for a little bit of stretching. Uh, yes, apparently even musicians have to stretch. After all, this is a huge moment for them, and they want everyone to be relaxed and happy. It all comes down to this. 25 minutes of bliss, marching past the new president, whose promise of change resonates deeply with a band that's always marched to the beat of a different drummer. Itai Had, CBS News, Washington.